Well, hello there, good folks. It's, uh, it's been a while since I did some sort of photography video, but uh, mostly because my my lens is only a 250. I've been seeing uh, quite a few deer in here lately, and some hawks. That's what I've been trying to. I've been trying to go for some hawks for the last few days, but haven't been very successful. They're always too far away. I don't know, I just seen something black run across the uh, airport way up there as soon as I got on. We're gonna go check it out. Ran, ran across pretty fast, so I don't know if it was a deer. Might have been a wolf or something. Seen the odd wolf track out here. There's little sandbars out here, so. It's kind of like a track trap. Even uh, a fox would be nice. Turkey vultures, whatever. I'm not too fussy. Something is better than nothing. It's pretty hot out today, so everything was probably laying down for most of the day. Should uh, should be a little bit more active at nighttime with this heat, I would think. I'd love to get uh, I'd love to get a picture of the hawks, though. There uh, there's two of them now. They're always in front of my place. They always land on the dead tree out there. But uh, they're always a little bit too far away for a nice picture. If I had a good 600 mil or something, that'd be perfect. Got the old uh, Canon 80D. It's got a uh, 55 to 250. I can smell something. It smells like wild animal right here. I do have my uh, I do have my bear spray on me just in case. You never know what the wildlife. Came out here yesterday, trying to do the same thing, but had no luck. And I see I found a uh, Blanders turtle. I think that's only the second one I've ever saw in my life. Pretty cool. They can live up to like almost a hundred years old. And. Uh, Takes them in between 15 to 20 years to start reproducing, which is pretty amazing. So I could see why they're on the uh, endangered species list. But yeah, I'm going to uh, quiet down a little bit and uh, see if I can find myself a deer. So I'm just going to uh, try going out towards the, uh, I call it the bubble. It's just a homing beacon for the airplanes. But uh, they have to cut out, I don't know, several hundred meters all the way around it just so the brush isn't interfering with the reception. So I usually see uh, deer and stuff out there. So I'm going to go have a look out there first and see what I can see. Well, I see a deer out there already. He's pretty far away. He heard that squeaking. We'll try and get some footage on the other camera. Well, we'll try and take a picture first. It's a little doe. She's still staring at me. She's probably going to run off, I would imagine. Pretty cool. Well, we'll try and get in a little closer here once she stops looking at me. Well, we're going to try going forward here just a little bit. Hopefully she doesn't run away. She hasn't stopped looking at me for the whole time. Unfortunately, with this uh, this lens, you got to get pretty darn close to get a nice poke. There she goes, son of a gun. There she stopped, and now she's uh, oh no, she's still looking at me. She's right there. 
don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not, but... I have been able to see her jumping around there, that was pretty cool. I'm trying to get her when she's jumping in the air. Well, she's in there making snorting sounds at me right now. She's probably over here somewhere. I was waiting for her to come back out onto the edge of the field right here, but... I don't think I could have asked for a uh, better outcome than that. Very curious doe for my camera and a beautiful sunset. Finish it off. Doesn't look quite as good in the uh, GoPro as it does in person, I can tell you that much. Well, maybe it might. Not in this little tiny one inch screen anyway be able to see it but uh, maybe it was this shirt that was drawing her in that's a pretty studly looking buck on there hey <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to uh, show you that shirt I, ha I have my doubts that that was the reasoning behind her coming in so close but Kind of weird that she came in like a hundred yards, you know. You can tell it's definitely not hunting season, because hunting season you'd never get that opportunity. Never. Never. Well, there's that turtle I seen yesterday. That's a uh, Blanders turtle. Pretty darn cool. They're on the uh, endangered species list. Good thing I didn't bring the vehicle out here. Because he's right on the uh, track. 
If that's the same one, he's traveled uh, probably a half a kilometer to get here. Since I seen him yesterday. Pretty cool. See he's all full of uh, tree pollen there. Huh. I don't know if they bite or not. Very different markings from a uh, painted turtle. You can see he's see how uh, yellow he is underneath his belly there pretty cool I hope he doesn't lay eggs right here because yes I hope he doesn't lay eggs right there because I uh, I come out here quite a bit with the vehicles well am I ever glad I'm not driving today because I would have ran him over wouldn't even have seen him Pretty cool. Just on my way to my house there right now. Here's the view you get. A dark, I don't know how good this is gonna turn up, but. Pretty nice sunset in the back there. Well, I guess now this is the official goodbye. Thank you all for watching, subscribe, like, comment, share if you want, and uh, especially have a good day. God bless you all.